Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about a module that enables you to customize what you see in that share button on any of your applications within your device. Let's check it out. First thing we want to do is download and install the module itself. Go into the Expos installer and look for uh, custom share 2.0.2. .2. The functions of custom share work very similarly to the way complete action plus work, but in this option, we're only working with what we do when we click that share button on our device from anywhere in our system. So let's get into the actual module itself. We'll go ahead and open it up. The main things you want to keep in mind is the application itself is limited to certain things. Like one thing is it's limited to nine selections right now. This is the free version. There's an option right here to go to the pro version for donating so that you have the ability to actually select more. The first list that you get is the list that you're sharing with. So it starts obviously with the title. It tells you uh, apps which should not be visible in the list, which meaning is anytime you hit the share button, this list of applications won't show. Uh, and I went through and I selected a few things I didn't want. I don't want to show my default email or the AOSP. I just want to show, you know, Gmail. I took out Evernote. I took out Dropbox. I don't use it. Those are the things that you want to kind of work with. And then what you're able to do here is switch over to the thing that says app to open with. So if you ever have a situation in a file manager and you select an app and it says open with, this is the list that you're able to customize this with. So this is the list of applications that are available to do things. And by selecting them, they do not show up in that list. So I have, well, actually that was the wrong one here to have. Um, I don't want Cloud Magic to open because it's not an actual opening application. And let's say I don't want you know Best Face to show, so on and so forth, you can go in here. And then the other thing you have the ability to, to do here is once you've selected things out of the list, meaning we've gone through and we took out the things in the list of, you know, to open with. And then we also took out things out of the list to share with. Well, now you have the remaining list, which is the list of things that you do want to actually use or, you know, customize. And this is what that little circle option on the left, top left here is, or the top right side of the left. And this by default is checked off and that says basically you're letting Android sort the rest of the applications. And this means Android will see what's available for you to open with or share with and you know basically put that list together for you. Or you have the ability of unchecking this box and at this point again now you have the ability to select not only actually select them but organize them by order of how you want to use them. For me I share a lot of things on Gmail. I'll press and hold. You notice press and holding an item will move it to the top. I like to share things on Google Plus as well, but now Google Plus is on my top. I press Gmail. I'm able to organize it again. And this will be in the option when I go in under sharing with, switch over to the open with uh, interface, and then go back into the customize. Greet it with the same option. I can customize things, find the applications, the ones I want. It's very nice, very customizable. And once you install this, I highly recommend doing one extra thing. So we're done customizing this. To take effect, you have to restart the device. There's no options around it. It doesn't give us a notification, but I found that if you don't, it doesn't always work. Uh, we go under the settings, you go into settings, and by default, you get these four options. Vibrate was turned on, I turned it off. Um, it gives you the option here of turning it on so that it loads the system resources at, at the beginning only and doesn't have any additional issues. So this is if you're having any system resources problems, definitely use this. But hiding the application from the launcher at that point, so you don't have the ability of basically kind of you know stumbling on it by mistake or have somebody else clicking it and changing things. You'll always be able to open it through the installer or the uh, expose installer, so just keep that in mind. Other than that, very powerful and it works exactly the way I wanted. So I went into my actual gallery, I have my share options, I took out Evernote, I took out my regular messaging, I kept Google Plus, I kept Hover Chat. This is the things that were, you know, the things I want to basically use. And it, the list itself, over time, when you have the donate version, you can actually shorten it so that you don't have the ability to, you know, PayPal, photos, pen up, all of these other things that you normally don't want, and just makes the list ridiculously long. So hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think. Module itself functions in a similar way to the Complete Action Plus module that we talked about not that long ago. The Complete Action Plus obviously is the one that you actually configure what do you do once you've actually selected a link and where you want it to open and what you want to actually show. Where this module fills in is the ability to actually customize that share button. So as I showed you guys on the hands-on, you're able to customize not only what applications you share with, what applications you don't want to share with, what applications you don't even want to use when you're clicking the open with option within your file explorers. So the options within this application are very powerful. Now, this is the free version. It's limited to nine selections. So if you do like the actual module itself, please support the developer and purchase the upgrade key. It's available through a link within the application itself. Other than that, the application functions very well. If your list of share options is tremendous, such as mine, 
the pro version is definitely is a no-brainer. If you only have a few things in there and you want to customize it, the free version should be just fine. I like the way the functionality of this module itself works. It's simple. It's not that hard to understand. You just need to kind of get into it and understand it a couple of times and understand that there's different tabs and you customize the options of what you want to open with within each tab. So the share with has its own customization of how to share with and the open with has the, its own options. 